So, if let's say I am correct, I am here every Sunday, okay? Come back next week if I am wrong. If I am correct, what does it tell you about the dignity of woman that Muhammad is standing? Muhammad is standing a man who is got a beard to suck your breast. So, what does it tell you about your dignity? What are you doing at Speaker's Corner? Huh? What are you doing at Speaker's Corner? What brought you to the corner? No, I came for the Pakistan, um, uh, the Pakistan picnic. Oh, there's a picnic? Yeah, the Pakistan picnic is Independence Day. Independence Day for Pakistan? Yeah. And it doesn't look like you are that lucky. All the grass is brown now. It's supposed to be green. Yeah. So why are you Muslim man? What is your name? Halima. Halima, why are you Muslim? Why am I Muslim? Yeah, why are you Muslim? I was born a Muslim. I was born a Muslim, but I'm not a Muslim. So what, what is your reason that you are Muslim? What kept you in Islam? I'm a half of an alim. I've memorized the Quran and I've studied Islam because I've done an alim, of course. And um, I'm Muslim because I think it's my religion. Okay. Do you believe as a Muslim, perfect preservation of the Quran? Yeah. Okay, uh, what does that mean to you? Do you believe the Quran we have today is exactly what Muhammad revealed? Yes. Okay, so how, how do you feel about the uh, adult breast suckling verses? About what? About adult breast suckling verses. Sorry, I don't understand. Adult breast suckling verses. So, adult breast suckling verses. So, in the time of Muhammad, there was a, gu there was a guy who comes to someone's house okay I'll, I'll read the full story to you you tell me what you think about it so this is you are Sunni Muslim I guess Hanifi yeah. so this is Sahih Muslim okay so it is talking about Aisha reported that Sahla bin Sulaim came to Muhammad and said Messenger of Allah, I see on the face of Abu Hudafa on entering of Salim into our house, whereupon Allah's apostle said, suckle him. She said, how can I suckle him as he is a grown up man? Allah's messenger smiled and said, I already know that he's a young man. Amir has made this edition narration to say, um, Messenger of Allah laughed at it. So, and then you've got the, so this is hadith number 3424. It is four pages in uh, uh, Sahih Muslim, okay? And then even in, you've got the ver versions we say, he's, has, he has a beard, okay? And then Muhammad says, suckle him. So he has a beard, and then Muhammad says, suckle him. So, for example, that gentleman to come to your house, he needs to suck your breast ten times. It was ten times, and then it was abrogated to five times, okay? The verses of the stoning and of breastfeeding any other ten times was revealed. Paper was under, with me under my pillow. The messenger of Allah died. We were preoccupied by his death, and a tame sheep came and ate it. So, this verse is not in the Quran. So, how do you reconcile these missing chapters with the preservation of the Quran? And how do you reconcile Muhammad as a prophet who tells men to come and suckle your breast? What does it tell you about your, your dignity as a Muslim woman? I don't believe this is why. Maybe it's a weak or something. This is Sahih Muslim. It might have been a weak narration. Okay, so you identify Sahih Muslim as a weak? No, there are some narrations in there that might be weak. Okay, in Sahih Muslim, you believe there are some narrations are weak. Why did you think that? Do you think this is uh, like, do you disagree with this? Yeah, I disagree with you because I studied Muslim. Okay, so what is it you disagree with this? So, sake of the argument, if this is correct, okay? So what is it that makes you uncomfortable that you identified as not good? It can't be right. Why? Because we, uh, that, we, we, uh, we just don't right because we don't do that sort of thing. Okay, so you don't do it something different yeah. versus it is not right, it is something different. That's not right. That's, That's not authentic. Right. That's not authentic. authentic. It's not authentic. It's not Why? authentic. 
It is already Sahih Muslim. Somebody who is Sabbath again. It is Sahih Muslim already. So what it is about it? I studied Sahih Muslim and I didn't come across this narration in the in the book. Okay, I'll show you from the Arabic sources. Is that okay? Yeah, but I can pull out verses in the Bible that are worse, ten times worse than what you're finding. Okay, so you think that verse is worse? Alright, you know what happened You think to that you? is worse? Bad verse? Alright, you know what happened to so you? So let me, let me find this from the... You read Arabic? Yeah. Yeah, I'll find it from Sahih Muslim in Arabic sources. You read, all I am curious is what makes you to kind of think this can't be right. Okay, that's all I am curious about. 2,400 So how it comes you are able to get all these stories? Sorry? How you get all these stories? Uh, I read the sources. So this is sunnah.com, it's a Muslim website, okay? I'm sorry, I don't have the hadith with me in my bag, but, so here's the English, here's the Arabic. Where does it say that? Where? Where does it say it? Wait, wait, and here, wait one second, and sweet. So pull yourself together. I'll talk to you once I finish with the lady. It's at the bottom, it's here. She said, how do... So Arabic is here, man. What's the interpretation of this? Sorry? What's the interpretation? What's the explanation of it? Uh, no, I'm asking you. Yeah, but this hadith must, must have some explanation behind it. So what kind of explanation are you looking for? I don't think it's... I think it might be a weak narration. I don't think okay, that's right. fine. It is under the Sahih Bukhari. Can you check that for me? So, if, let's say, I am correct, I'm here every Sunday, okay? Come back next week if I am wrong. If I am correct, what does it tell you about the dignity of woman that Muhammad is telling you? Muhammad is telling a man who has got a beard to suck your breast. So, what does it tell you about your dignity? Excuse me. Excuse me. What are, you, what are you doing? I, I'll talk to you once I finish with the lady. That, yeah, but you're interpreting it the wrong way. Is this true, Miss? Are you talking about? You know. And by the way, you know, when when that shirt. Would you be kind enough and, and check it out? Excuse me. And then come back to me next week. I will be Excuse here. Excuse me. Wearing that Let shirt. Let me ask you another question. Yourself. Since you studied Islam as well, what is your feelings on if you if your husband are you married? No. No. If your husband goes to bed angry when he asks you to have sex and then you said no and then he went to bed angry, what is your feelings that angels are going to curse you until morning? No, I think... Um, Excuse well, me, uh, well, but Christian, Christianity has horrible rules against women. The thing is, we, we've been told that you can't say no to your husband if he wants to have a relationship. When two because, women are talking, it's not for the men to go close. Because if, because if, because if, um, no, no, she's something, but it doesn't matter, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, she's not Okay, so, you are told that you can, you cannot say no to your husband because he's got needs and then his needs need to be fulfilled. Yeah, and you're right. So, she left his she left Islam. She left Islam. Can I ask you why you left Islam? Can I ask you why you left Islam? So basically, it's because um, uh, you're only have one wife. relationship. Yeah, and that's what relationship is like. Yeah, but you have to fulfill the rights of your husband. You have to fulfill the rights of your husband. I don't know. I haven't gone into this. This is something no, no, that, 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 that doesn't affect me a little bit. But yes, I, I, I really don't give up. In, 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 in Islam, 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 Islam,
No, Habibi, I don't want it. And then he gets angry. So he has option to just ignore you. But angels are going to come and curse you. I don't think that is acceptable. Allah steps in and then puts fear in the minds of women and hearts of women. And that will turn to rape. Because husband, I think my, if my understanding is correct, that husband can go to their wife however, whenever they want. And that, but that's right, great. If you say no, I don't want. I know. I know that's But it's still allowed. But how can something so ugly be allowed and you are part of that religion? But then. It's the third one. And he's trying to with the third one. How religion? Well, it happens in a non Muslim society. If the man is satisfied with the woman, he goes and has an affair. And in Islam, we don't want that. That's not allowed. Yeah, but because. Go and have an affair. So, so, let. So. I am woman. Yeah. You are woman. Muhammad has a word to know. So because and, uh, you don't want your husband to go and have a affair and then have sex with someone else or slim with by someone by else, shouldn't give your husband Started right to rape you. Shouldn't give <laughs> angels <laughs> right to curse you. If he's a you. good man, he won't do it. If he's Sorry? a good man, he won't do it. And you can talk no, to him. The Quran is if he's a good man, then he won't do it. And you can talk to him. So, it's not, I am not questioning mainly about what people do. I know people do very crazy things. Um, I do very crazy things. People do very crazy things. But I am questioning that how Allah allows that, how Allah allows that, and how, as a British Muslim woman, you think, yeah, but that's okay. I am upset by that. It's teachings of Islam. It is dangerous to the woman. That teaching is very dangerous to the woman. And you think that's okay? I don't think it's okay. But you said this is how it is. But how can you accept something which is not okay? But I think that is therefore a reason. What, can, what is the reason? The reason is that Quran husband doesn't have a, a fair. He only has one wife. No, in Islam, husband can have one, two, three, four wives. I know, but you see, he has one wife. Okay, it's so. No, I know people who has got four wives as well, but that's not the point. The point is, you cannot say to your husband, no to your husband. And he can do it like Surah 2, 223 says, they are killed to you, go to your feet however, whenever you want. Are you okay with that? How can you be okay with that? Like that's encouraging. Huh? Repeat the question again. Surah 2, 223. Has your wives are killed to you, go to your wife, however, whenever you want. And in the background of the verse, a woman doesn't want to have sex with the husband in certain way. Um, and then that conversation goes to Muhammad, and then Allah says, woman has no say, you can have sex with her however you want. So that's rape. Is it not? <laughs> so what are your thoughts and feelings about those ugly verses? I don't see any author here who promotes himself. No, no. no. Sorry? Uh, I accept which, which the novel Quran, you have read that author... I accept the rulings of Islam even if it makes me uncomfortable or unhappy. I still accept it. Why? Because it's my religion. You are telling about the author. But you can get out from that. I know better teachings. I know teachings of Jesus, for example. Jesus says, husband, love your wife as Christ loved the church. Christ loved the church and then gave himself for the wife. Husband, love your wife in a way you give yourself for your wife. It doesn't say go and force yourself to the wife. And then like, it's not only that, you've got verses where husband, it is okay for husband to beat the wife. That's domestic violence and it is wrong. Yeah, no, but that's only in certain situations. What, what situation makes it okay? The, I know the verse in, is in, is in uh, and I'm a half of this often, often quote the Quran is in, is in, it's in Surah 4 verse yeah. 34. Yeah. So it is okay. So yeah, it is okay for husband to be, beat the wife. So I'm asking, what does it make it okay? Sir, 
So, your back is open. Uh, somebody wants to. Your back is open. Is it, is it, is it, is it broken, broken? Oh, okay, okay. Um, somebody was trying to steal something there, and I called him with a black guy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's why I took all my things and okay. them here. Yeah. Just be careful. So, what kind of circumstances makes it okay for husband to beat the wife? The city stage is the good to set the stage if there's a disagreement. So we don't know what we're going to do. We're going to do a lot of work. 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 So you first of all, you're supposed to advise them, forsake them in bed, and strike them. Yeah, so separate the bed and then you can strike them, but it's, there's a certain condition as well that you're supposed to not only light me. So are, are you, can you feel, can you feel how I am disturbed that as a woman you are justifying that? I'm not so, justifying. No, you are justifying by saying there is a structure and there is a way to beat the wine. Yeah, but I no, no man, no man should be able to beat the wife. Yeah. So, Bible tells me, love your wife and then give, your, give yourself for your wife. Doesn't, Bible doesn't say go and beat your wife. There is a hadith in Sahih Bukhari. It is talking about a woman goes to Aisha and she's been so beaten, she, her skin is greener than her dress. Okay? And then she tells why she's got beaten. Muhammad doesn't say to the husband why you, what you are doing is wrong. Muhammad sends this woman back to her husband where she was the victim of the domestic violence. And it, it is, we are not talking about top. Her skin was greener than her dress. So, rape is okay in Islam. Beating the wife is okay in Islam. And adult breast suckling is okay, which you all disagree with those things, but they are, they, they are in Islam, part of the Islamic life. I just don't understand, like, what still, with knowing those things, why are we justifying? Sorry? Is it too strong that the prophet said someone to go suck his wife's breast? Yes. According to Sahih Muslim. Are you Sahih Muslim? Are you Muslim? How do you feel? For stranger to suck the breast of your wife. No, I never heard of that one. It's only to the no, it, 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 it is not about. It is not about. You never did it. It's like I've even. Never heard about uh, it. Nice. Egypt. In Egypt, a couple of years ago, there was a fatwa. The woman who go to work for like because they work with the man and woman in the same place. Fatwa was saying men should suck the breast of the woman so that they don't have any sexual desires towards one another. And that was only a couple of years ago in Egypt. It was okay and the declaration at the time of Muhammad and it was okay a couple of years ago as well. What are your thoughts on Halima? Halima? What are, what are your thoughts on attack of Salman Rushdie? My view, I think it was wrong what happened. Um, yeah, I don't think it was, I don't agree with it. It was wrong. Why was it wrong? Um, because you can't just stab a man just, for, just because you disagree with what he's written. So you don't think anyone should be offended but what people write if, and say? If you're offended, that's one thing, but to actually stab someone, that's another thing. So, offending is, being offended by it, it's okay, but stabbing is not okay, hurting is not okay. So, help me out in this one then. So this is Hadith from the time of Muhammad, okay? Can you read it to me? And then I want to talk about this hadith. You read it to me in Arabic. You, uh, you can read it in Arabic. English is here. It is from sunnah.com. 
What did you understand? So basically, um, it's about um, Kaab bin Al Asaf. Why was he killed? Because he 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 wanted to hurt the prophet. He tried to. He used to hurt the prophet. He used to hurt the prophet. How? Physically? No. Abraham did nothing to the people. Not physically. So you don't know what you're talking about. This is from hurting the prophet. He did used to hurt the prophet. Not physically, like not like punch or physical, physical hurt, emotional hurt, okay. upsetting. Okay. Huh? Uh, so what Anyone happened to him? He was killed. He was killed so by who is order? The by the prophet's order. Is that okay? It's up to you. The only but it's not a war, is it? No, it's not a war. In the in war, I got my guns. You got your guns. We fight with one another. This doesn't look like war to me. Huh? So what kind of guns did Kaab bin al Asaf had? Only God and who is the truth? God is the truth and no one else. And if you want to know the truth, then God will meet you. Himself. Because he is able. Religion are not the truth. It's a mindset. Point I'm trying to make is even though you disagree that people should be harmed because what they say about Islam or they, what they say about Muhammad or what they write according to Islamic sources they, sh they are killed because apparently Muhammad's feelings are being hurt and that is there is a no place for such a teachings in 21st century but your ideology teaches that. Therefore, and the context was different. That what is the context here? Pardon? What was the context for um, Charlie Hebdo? What was the context for Samuel Petty? If anyone like was doing with James. Because people take those takes those sources and then says. Do not insult my prophet, or do not do not hurt the feelings of my prophet. You've got another story, Asma bin Marwan. Muhammad didn't even know that she's saying things against her, and then she got killed as well. So these teachings are Islamic, even though you disagree. And it is Salman Rushdie is 75 years old. Okay, he is probably older than your grandfather. <coughs> Now, he, for over 30 years, his life was not normal. He's, he's been hiding. Why? Because a Muslim said he should be killed. Why? Simply he wrote a book and book is in my bag. And it's just a novel. novel. Since Friday, since he's been attacked by 24 years old, his life is not going to be the same. He can't see, his eyesight is not going to be the same. His liver is being damaged. And he's 75 years old. I don't think in 21st century there is a place in our society that people should be physically harmed simply because they say or they wrote something about a dead person. Your prophet is dead. And it should be okay for me to say no to rape. It should be okay for me to say no to domestic violence. It should be okay for me to say that there is no place for a teaching where angels are going to come and curse the wife. 
And I should be able to say those things without fear. I should be able to change my religion without fear. But your ideology doesn't allow us to do that. What are your objections? What are your objections? I can see you are feeling uncomfortable with the topic. And earlier you were not happy with my t-shirt. Um, can I express I am not happy with your hijab? I do, I, I do believe you have freedom to wear whatever, whatever you would like to wear if Islam allows you. But because you are covering yourself, according to Surah 33 verse 59, I can be abused. So believer woman needs to cover so they are not abused. But I, the ones who are not covered, they can be abused. And according to Ibn Kathir, those people are whole. So the way you cover up puts my life in danger. But there is nothing in my mind says I need to go and harm her because she's covering herself. I know it is the commandment of Allah, but I believe it is very dangerous commandment of Allah towards those who are not covered. Okay? And I want you to reflect on those things. I brought you reference after reference, which you are upset with the references I break because you you simply said, oh, I do not agree, but I have to follow these things. I hope that you are aware that it puts the life of people in danger. In some of the occasions, it puts the life of Muslim women in danger. There are, there are Muslim women, according to the Quran, so those who are not covered, so you covered so you are not abused. According to Ibn Kathir, woman who is not covered, they can they are seen as a whore. I am not a whore. I don't want anyone to see me as a whore. But your teachings are telling Muslims because she is not covered, that's all you can do to her whatever you wish to do. That's dangerous. Who's saying that? Stop spreading lies. Who's saying that? You're lying. That's not true. You're lying. That's not true. We cover up so because, because, because we were told in the Quran that you should cover up and because what is the, the reason? wives of the Prophet covered up and we want to follow them. Yeah, so what is the reason you need to cover up? I'll cover up Okay. In the Quran, does Quran does what does, to you, so if you don't cover up, but what does Quran say to you? You don't say anything. You don't have to cover up. If you so don't you don't have to, to cover up. You don't have to cover up if you don't want to. According to the hadith, if you cover up or not? No, it doesn't. Yeah, you I'm do have covered. a choice. You are Muslim? I am Muslim. Okay. I'm not covered. We have so, a choice. Yes. So yes. Yes. help me, help me to understand this. We have a choice. You never said it. So, help me to understand this. Yes. Help me to There's understand no this. Ma'am, ma ma what is your name? Yeah. What is your name? Rashida. Rashida. Yes. So I read the Quranic verses and then I will read the Hadith. You tell me if it is a choice or not, okay? But I respect that you choose to not cover up. I respect that. I've got no problem with someone who covered and someone who didn't cover. I'm just saying the teachings of Islam for non-covered is dangerous. Okay? So this is Surah 33, verse 59. All prophets, tell your wives and your daughters and the women of the believers to bring down over themselves of their outer garments. This is more suitable that they will know and not be abused. Allah, Eva is Allah, forgiving and merciful. So what is the reason that you are covering up? Is that a hadith? That's that the, is this is the Quran. 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 Yes. This is the Quran. So what is the reason Allah is telling women to cover up according to this verse? So that you don't get abused. So you are not, so you are not abused? Yeah. So what does it say about this lady who is not covered up? She's Muslim. It's a choice. It's her choice. It's fine. It's her choice. So why does it say it's a choice? Not every Muslim. It's still a choice. Help me to understand. So, is she choosing to be abused? No. Okay. So where does it say it's a choice? It's a choice. Because there is a hadith that talks about those who are not covered do not go to paradise. No. What is it? No. So, according to this verse, you covered up so you are known as a Muslim woman and not be abused. 
So who are not covered? They are not Muslim women. Is it Therefore, they can be language or English. This is English translation. In Arabic, it's the same. Well, what I'm, what I, my difficulty is, yes. even in English, one word may carry ten different meanings. Yes, yes. that's right. Yes. Yeah. So, so it depends in a sentence. Yes. You use that word, so what's the limit? So why would, why does, why yeah. does a Muslim scholar would translate it as abuse? Yeah. 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 Because it is a Muslim scholar. Yeah, they still believe one God. Yeah. They still believe so you do not speak the one interpretation, one interpretation of the word. You don't know how the sense the man used it for. Like that's what it's, it's, a it's a choice, it's a good thing. But that doesn't mean if someone Some doesn't cover it, doesn't, it's not a Muslim. Just stop spreading lies. I, di I didn't say she's not a Muslim. I yeah. simply said Quran gives Quran gives um, Quran says it's okay yeah. that she can be abused. That's all the point I'm no, making. No, it doesn't say. I just I just read the Quranic no, verse no, to you. I, I know Quran. I've studied Quran. I I just read the Quranic verse yeah, to you. Yeah, no, you you read what you want to read. I read the and verse you to you. It the way you tell want. tell me what it says. No, it's it says it says. قل لبناتك ونساء المؤمنين يجون عليهن من جنابيبيهن I don't remember Ma'am don't go away ma'am Exactly So Are you a Hafiz? Huh? Are you a Hafiz? Sorry? Are you a Hafiz? Are you a Hafiz? 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 You have a Who memorized it? No I don't I don't I don't I don't remember I don't remember Not all the But I But I know what what Quran says Okay I'm gonna show you Something which probably I will need you to explain it to my ma'am. And then after that I will ask you your objections to the Christian faith because I'm Christian. I love to hear. I don't have any objections to the Christian faith. You have no objections to the Christian no, faith? No, I don't. I think Islam is the right religion. Judaism and Christianity used to be the right religion too before Islam came. So we believe in the same one God. So I don't have any objections. I don't, I don't believe in Allah, but thank you for not having any objections to Jesus. I will bring up a couple because of Jesus things Jesus is the same as Isa and Isa in our religion. No. He's no. Yeah, he's a prophet. So I read this. So this is Ibn Katir for Surah 33 verse 59. That will be better that they should be known, so not to be annoyed. Means, if they do that, they will know that they are free, and they are not servants or whores. So can I, can I see? Show me this. Ibn Kathir, 3359. Ibn Kathir. Yeah, really? I know it's not Quran. I know it is not Quran. I told you it is not Quran. He's a scholar. Yeah, he gives you the. He tells you the explanation of the Quran from the Tafsir. So in his, according to his Tafsir, he shares the same view what I told you. So you covered. If you are not covered, you can be abused. And Ibn Kathir says they are covered. Those who are not covered. The, you don't get mixed them with the horse. So uncovered people are seen as a whole. So therefore, I, I said, because you are covering up your theological intention, putting my life and even this lady's life and the Muslim lady who walked away, her life in danger. Because How am I putting you in danger about dressing like this? Who's in danger? My daughter because is in danger. She's seeing Sorry? that my daughter is in danger because she's walking like this. No, she's yeah, she your daughter? Arabia. Is she and your daughter? Are, I'm from Jordan. I believe it's in Arabia. Okay, so I am, I am asking the question. Are we in danger? I am asking the question, why in Islam, yeah. woman needs to cover up? I brought up the Quranic Surah 33 verse 59. No, it no, says, said she's in danger. Yeah, because because there is an ideology says those who are not covered they can be seen as a whore. I am not covered. She's not covered. She's covered. You are covered. Uncovered woman, according to Ibn Kathir, can be seen as a whore. So you disagree with Ibn Kathir? You disagree with Ibn Kathir? He's ready for the story of Islam. My daughter, she's not covered. My mother, my sister, my aunt, so they are what? Are they not covered? Don't engage her, she's talking. I read the Quranic verse and Ibn Kathir, I'm talking she's, she's well known for spreading rubbish. If you see YouTube videos, you'll know she's well, spreading rubbish. It, it is up to you, Halima. If you identify it's the sources I showed to you as rubbish, that's, that's up, up to you. About. But, it's up to her. 
it's so not up to I, me, it's not up to you. Look, me coughing up is not putting you in danger. I don't it does. That theory that me and I coughing up is putting you in danger, it's not. Because it's my decision to cover up, it's your decision not to cover up. Me coughing up doesn't put you in danger. That doesn't make any sense. So I'll turn to, I know that it doesn't, doesn't make, make it doesn't make sense, I know. Absolutely. What me I so. think is, they that they do that if in the known they are Muslim free women, and they are not servants their, or whores. What they wish to do, That's you know? Exactly. If Ibn yeah. Qadir tells to, me yeah. to, because uh, I'm not covered, therefore I am a whore, that Muslims puts my life in danger. Out to do things. So That's you saw you Islamic get. sources by yourself. You need to you need to make your own judgment on that. If you want to call it bullshit, do call it. Keep if you wanna if you if you wanna call you know it rubbish, it's absolutely up to you. But at the end, those are the Islamic sources which you saw by your own eye. Yeah, I can say I a sentence. I should press it the way, way I like. What is the you interpreting the wrong thing? What is the right interpretation? It's, it's simply saying it's for your protection. I'm, it's telling it's telling you to move to cover up for their own protection. It's not protection from what? Just for their own protection. It's not saying that Mr. Protection, Mr. protection Mr. from what? Just protection. That's all. Protection from what? Protection from car accident. Protection from dog bite. Jams protection and everything. There's something. Everything is flying about. You have every, so if you cover yourself, and it's a big protection. And, and also remember, so you don't the think Arabian men will get fly by. Remember the desert. Remember the wind blowing. Every so things. I think there's a reason for everything. I don't see something bad. Well, Allah, Allah How tells you you cover baby? up, so you are not abused. Ibn Kathir yeah. unpacks that as uncovered women are whores. And so the reason first covering stepped in because Umar saw Muhammad's wife in the middle of the night as she was doing her business. So she went to Muhammad and then she said, well, I just checked out your wife. She needs to cover up. So therefore Allah give the Quranic verses. So yes, it is the protection. Protection from the sexual assault by Muslim men. And she walks away. You try too hard. You try too hard. And always you lose. That's how it is. Sorry? You try too hard to spread your ideas here. It's you not my own. idea, it's Ibn Yes, Katir. you try forcing people. You try to interpret it. In so their, what did I force freedom. her? What did I you, you force try, you? Try, you're trying, but you cannot. So? You're trying to interpret their freedom. You change you're, people. You're, you're, you're all spreading rubbish here. So I'm, I'm not going to sit here and talk to you. So good luck. Thank you. 21st century at Speaker's Corner, reading Islamic sources are rubbish. Can you imagine? All I did was reading the Islamic sources. When Muslims follow these Islamic sources, what does it tell us about humanity? When a Muslim on Friday decided to follow the teachings of Islam by thinking to take the life of individual what does it do Salman Rashid someone someone tried Mr. Muslim try to take the life of Salman Rashid by simply wanted to follow the teachings of Islam and obe obeying what the Muslim leader said 30 years ago and I think that's dangerous I follow Lord Jesus Christ. Follow yeah. Why? So I am asking the, why I am against this now. Okay. So let, let, let me tell you, let me tell you. 